to Mark Anthony's video viewing here in the beautiful village of Everton, where property rarely becomes available. Dead right, I mean, as at the time of recording this particular shoot, there are only two properties available in Everton, proving people either don't want to move or mm -hmm. the frequency of it coming is very, very minimal. And this obviously is one of those two as well, so very sought after. So the property itself, it is a three bedroom, semi detached bungalow, it's been extended over the years as well, incorporating uh, a really nice wet room. Yep. You've also still got a really decent sized kitchen, this decent sized lounge as well, which overlooks the garden with the slide patio doors that take you onto a little patio the area. Uh, two of the bedrooms as well are two double bedrooms, so good very, very good sized rooms. And you've also got a massive loft space, so if you wanted to, you could actually convert it up into the loft as well to increase the footprint of this already decent sized bundle. Definitely, yeah. Got so what's the area there. then, Mike? Well, Aberton is on the south of Colchester, en route towards Mersey Island and all of what Mersey Island has, of course, to offer. Mm -hmm. You're a very short distance back into Colchester. Yep. Um, you've obviously got mainline railway connection in Colchester. If you need the A12, you can skirt across the southern and southwesterly part of Colchester through Lay de la Haye, and then brings you out onto the A12, both London and Ipswich. So great road. connections there, yeah. So good connections for both road and railing as well. Great walks, uh, some fantastic scenery, and if you're a nature lover, yep. um, you've also got Finger Home Nature Reserve, really not too far away, and of course, Aberton Reservoir, mm. which is another great really sort Beautiful of town. Yeah. yeah, beautiful, beautiful walks. Schooling as well, you've got a perfect local school. Yes. Primary school just down the road here. Literally the end of the road. Langenhoe Primary School. Langenhoe Primary School, which is again a good school. So it's a, it's a home for a growing family with children or for a retiring couple who want to use what there is as far as the countryside and what that has to offer. Having said that though, first time buyers getting on the ladder. Perfect, perfect as well, yeah, especially in this location. So without further ado, let's go and show you a little bit more of the bungalow right now. Okay, coming into the bungalow here in Bracken Way, what have we got? So, immediately, as soon as you come in to this entrance hallway, it's a big T-shaped entrance hallway. Um, so, immediately you know that it's a really decent sized bungalow. So, layout wise then, we've got traditional sort of layout. All the bedrooms are at the front of the property. So we've got bedroom two, three, and behind the camera, bedroom one. We'll show you those in a moment. Down this way, towards the rear of the property, you've got the extended part, which houses the wet room. And then further on back, then you've got a really decent sized kitchen and an inner lobby as well that takes you onto the garden uh, and also the driveway. Behind me here then you've got the separate bathroom and toilet, loads of storage here. And then to the right there, you've got a really decent sized lounge. Let's go and take a look at the kitchen. So now you join us in the kitchen dining room here, which is 11 foot 7 by 10 foot 2. Uh, one of the first things you notice here is it's a really bright room as well um, and it's nicely fitted as far as the amount of storage is concerned as well. Obviously you've got an uh, integrated cooker there, you've got space for uh, American style fridge freezer, uh, plumbing for washing machine and you've also got tumble dryer here as well. So it's already a good size, however I think one of the things that's been done here as far as the extension is concerned is it's provided, as the camera will show you now, a inner hallway and inner lobby between the back of the old bungalow and a converted wet room. Now the wet room is actually quite a good size as well and I would be inclined, subject to building rigs, to be able to incorporate that wet room as an addition off the back of the kitchen so that you end up with this really big open kitchen dining room which then will all overlook your beautiful garden and make for a really nice place to be. Also, the door that leads out to the side there as well, if you were to be able to put some kind of orangery between the two, then your living accommodation would be absolutely superb then as well. So it's really got some flexibility and you've got the footprint already here as well. If, however, you're not interested in that, you've got a wet room, separate toilet and a bathroom as well. So there's plenty to be talking about also. So a good sized kitchen and uh, really, again, ready to move into as well. Join me now in the sitting room here in this spacious bungalow. This room measures 15 foot 5 by 12 foot 10, so a really decent size lounge. 
You've probably guessed there's no furniture, so it is being sold with no onward chain, so make sure you keep that in mind also. So we've got in here then a mock fireplace, just to give you that centerpiece for the room, which I think has been done quite nicely. And then behind me, you've got the sliding doors that take onto the patio. Now remember just a minute ago, Mark mentioned about the orangery and converting the kitchen and then the wet room into a nice big kitchen diner and then coming out to an orangery. But this is where the orangery would be. So I would say you have nice French doors open up onto an orangery here and then in turn that would then go back round uh, into the now converted kitchen diner. I think that'd be a great addition to the property. Having said that, it's a really decent size anyway. So if you wanted to, you can quite easily come in here, put your bags down, switch the kettle on and live here. Now, as Andy had mentioned previously, the layout of this bungalow is quite, quite traditional in the sense that the sleeping, sleeping accommodation is all towards the front of the property and the living accommodation is all towards the back. You've got two double bedrooms at the front here. This particular bedroom is 17 foot 10 by 9 foot 7. Um, the other double bedroom, which is 12 foot 9 by 8 foot 8. So you've got two good doubles here actually. And that third is also a comfortable bedroom as well. In this room, I don't know if you can notice on the camera, but there is a huge amount of storage here. You've got various uh, high level storage units here, up and over bed, plus you've got dressers with nine drawers here, and you've obviously got bedside cabinets as well. So, really good sized bedroom, um, and pretty unusual actually in that all three bedrooms, unusually, normally when you walk into a bungalow, you don't expect to find the size that you have here. So it's really quite a pleasant surprise as well. Okay, just one final thing to show you, and that is the family bathroom and the separate toilet. Divided at the moment by this wall, if you wanted to, a lot of people doing it nowadays is opening this wall up and having it as a one room, if you like, one family bathroom. I would personally keep it separate though, uh, like I've, I've got at home. Newly fitted tiles to the floor, to the rear wall here in the toilet, recently fitted low level WC as well. And then similar theme then carries on with the same tiling to the floor and also fully on the walls as well. Contemporary style sink and bath uh, with a shower mixer over. Also, you've also got heating in there in the way of radiator as well. Also on the other side then of the entrance hallway, you have two storage cupboards. One is an airing cupboard, really decent size, really deep and the other store is covered there. So plenty of storage here in a bungalow, which is essential. There you have it, Bracken Way, here in the delightful village of Aberton. Yep, it's, a, as we mentioned, a good spacious bungalow, which and is also said is being offered with no chain, which has a big bonus. Situated in a cul-de-sac location here as well, and indeed at the end of the cul-de-sac, you've got Langenhove Primary School, which is a great thing to have on its doorstep as well. Three good bedrooms, as we mentioned, two doubles, and even bedroom three is 12 foot nine by six foot, so they're all good, comfortable rooms as well. And the rest of the accommodation to the walls and rear, 
Thank you. Spot on. Yeah, absolutely. You've also got off-road parking as well, which takes you down to your garage uh, with light and power and up and over door. And you've also got the gardens at the front as well. Yes, very okay. pleasant as well with rose bushes and flower bed borders as also. Yeah. And the back garden, which you've seen in the video as well, but again, it's a really nice, actually quite a private garden as well. Very private. Um, which is a real plus, and there's a lot of uh, flower, shrub borders, hedging. Um, but again, ready for someone if they want to, to be able to put their touch on both in the garden and also in the home as well. It's flexible because it could actually be uh, extended yet again. Yes. Obviously, you've got that extension also moment with the wet room that it uh, actually houses at the moment but you could actually then just adapt it a little bit have the orangery as you cited earlier on yeah, right um, you know and make it an even bigger family home for your ever-growing family and worth mentioning also for the owners it's, uh, it's, it's really in a way kind of disappointing having to sell um, but the property is obviously being sold anyway but it just proves how much a uh, connection that the owners had with it so uh, it's a very 24 years and, 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 it's also and very happy year. yeah and a very good feel on the property as well, so a great place to be, great comfort. Absolutely, so without further ado, you need to pick up the phone, you need to give us a call and book your appointment to view. Uh, telephone number is 01206 588 440. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.